I want to ask on a day like today where there's so yes. much news. Oh. You have a show on Wednesday. We do. Are you happy to have the time to process it, or are you chomping at the bit to do one? Well, we, I felt so sorry for you today. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You know, because it roils the news, and then, but it's nice for us to be able to sit back and kind of be a little more analytical and just kind of wait to see what's happening. We get to take a step back a of little Of course, bit. stuff then also, it's not like things don't happen on Wednesday that, it's true. that tip your yeah. Apple card over as well. Yeah, I know. Um, well, you uh, know, you have to be you have to be nimble. Yeah, the news it's changed within. He's within made us hours. very fit. He's We're made us so so aerobically fit. Flexing <laughs> such fun muscles all the time. You addressed Kavanaugh last week in your show, I did. and uh, obviously, I'm going to assume you're going to address him again this Wednesday because sure. that will be the eve of this testimony that we don't quite know how it's going to look. Yep. Uh, is it, have you found it a difficult thing to write comedy about this? I, we have. You know, it's something that we're all really wrestling with at the show. I think it's, it's really been very upsetting and triggering for a lot of, uh, a lot of people who work in the office. I'm sure it has here, too. I think that women in general are just furious. We totally took this, we took to the streets today. We were, like, wearing all black. We were like, let's just go and walk around the block. <laughs> And that's what we did, and it felt good for a moment. Yeah, I mean, I, do you also find, I mean, I don't know what we found as a writing staff when things happen yeah. in the news that are depressing. It is nice to be in a room full of comedy writers. You yes, must find that as well. for sure. I do think that we achieve some kind, we achieve catharsis within the office. Like, I don't know that there's another job that all of us could be doing. It's kind of the only job we're capable of yeah. now. And we there's no other. matching skill sets outside no, of comedy We are writing. definitely useless in every other endeavor. Yeah. At, we would all more. be the worst person at any other job. Oh, de oh definitely, yes. But uh, I want to talk, because we've uh, we had previous jobs, like I think a lot of people in comedy, yes. which is that we, uh, I know I waited tables, you also waited tables. I definitely did. I've heard you say, and I would think anybody would assume, your time yeah. at The Daily Show has made you very, uh, helped train you for what you're doing now. Sure, yeah. But that being a waiter, uh, was very helpful for Donald Trump. Very. Don't you think that... Well, I mean, you see the best and the worst of humanity when you work in yes. the service industry. And I feel like when I see him, I'm like, oh, I know you. <laughs> like, I've seen you. <laughs> You're 100% the guy who comes in and he's like, I'm an amazing tipper. Take care of all of my friends. And all his friends are like horrible and they're all gropers and then right at the end he gives you like a nice eight percent tip <laughs> on your for sure like a lot of talk a lot of lots of talk very little rock <laughs> you uh you have a new app that is a game. We do. I'm so excited about it. This is very exciting. It's and very this is fun. to encourage uh, voter registration. Yes. Well, okay. I had this idea that we should apply the principles of gamification to incentivize voter turnout because, yes. as we are discovering, voting is extremely important. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so I went to Silicon Valley and I met with a bunch of geeks and they helped us to craft this amazing game, which I really don't know if it's ever been done before. It's really a political comedy game and you win cash prizes and you sign up for voting reminders and it's all meant to trick you into caring about voting. And I think it's working. That's very exciting. <laughs> we have like, we have 200,000 users and actually when we launched it was very, it was very successful right out of the gate, and so the game crashed a little bit. But we're very much working on the bugs, but people are winning money, and it's very cool. It's really funny. Well, it's great because the two things are true about Americans. Yes. One, we don't like voting, and two, Not. we're easily tricked. Easily so, tricked. If you can lure us into oh, anything. We love to win a prize. <laughs> yeah. What is, I want to ask, because yes. that would be intimidating to me. You have an idea, and then you go to Silicon Valley. Yes. I have never sort of entered that room with an idea. Was it intimidating for you? It was very intimidating, because they work in such a different way. I mean, they literally, we started at nothing, and we assembled a, a really amazing group of people. But the way that they work, and I, I know that there's a term for it, but I don't remember what it is. You all sit in a room, and you do these, like, massively long brainstorming sessions with, like, props, and somebody's got dice, and there's a bunch of bananas and post-it notes, and <laughs> They all just throw out the worst ideas humanly possible. It's a very humiliating process. You really just, you have to give over to the process and let everybody share everybody's horrible ideas. And you end the day, you've been humiliated. And you're like, why are we doing this? 
and then a year later, you have a game. Wow! Yeah, that's how it's just that, Okay, that so simple. that's also helpful to hear, that if you yeah. want to have an app, you can't just think about it like a day. No, it's a very long process. It's been a really interesting journey. It's been an incredible learning curve. I'm ultimately incredibly happy with the product. I think it's just so funny. It's in the voice of the show. That's great. Yeah, super And show. I know it's, um, you can win cash prizes. Yes. But it's not, it does not count as gambling, which would be illegal because you cannot lose money. You cannot lose money. Got it. Tech. No, you cannot. Okay, yeah. no, we will not take your. We will I not voted your... and then I went back to my app and I had lost a thousand dollars. We will not take your money and we will not abuse your data. We you... know how that goes. Oh yes, absolutely. People like that. Yeah. You actually did have. You briefly. You you ventured oh. a little down the path into a, a life in, in the gambling industry. I did. I worked. Um, I trained when I was in college. Um, I trained uh, to become a blackjack dealer in an illegal casino. An in illegal an industrial park. Wow. Yes. So the kind of illegal casino where truly only truly. really shady people even knew where it was. Definitely. And you have to pay with your limbs. I don't really know. I could not do it. I actually... How I, far down the path of being a blackjack dealer did you get before like you really... three days in. And then I was like, this is That's not, a lot of days. That's a lot of days. I, it was... What was the day where they were like, and then if they can't pay, you need to hold their wrist <laughs> like this? And then someone was, else will have the cleaver? It was very... It was a very scary and very serious crowd of people. It really was not, it did not speak to my strengths. No. You should not, I didn't want to go to my job. I was like, this job starts at midnight. Over here is a factory where they make wooden pallets for boxes. <laughs> so it did not, it was not Do you ever safe. wonder, because you did three days there, you probably yeah. met some other trainees. I did. Do you ever think that there's like at the illegal gambling warehouse, somebody <laughs> goes, you know, she used to be here. She, she was, was. She's one of us. Yeah. She was incompetent. Uh, yeah. I've been terrible at every job I've ever done. <laughs> They're like, I tell you, when yeah. she was here, I would not have said she'd make an app. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I hope that everybody is connecting those. <laughs> uh, always so great to see you.